Letters, Ray to Cheryl, May 27, 1945, from Nebraska, Ray writes, Hello, sweet stuff. I dare say that I am one of the very few people in the world that has had a lemon meringue pie in Wahoo, Nebraska. Lincoln is sort of off the main line, so I had to come to Omaha to check on plane schedules. I just pointed my nose to the east and then waited. A car stopped and asked if I wanted a lift. That is, the car didn't ask, but the driver in it did. I said yes. I forgot to say where I was going, and that, darling, is how I came to be eating lemon meringue pie in Wahoo, Nebraska. There wasn't time to make a grand circuit tour of the state, so I took the next bus to Omaha. About ten miles outside of Omaha, I noticed a group of nice-looking buildings and some very well-kept grounds. I thought it was the university. When we came to the entrance, there was a sign, Boys Town, Nebraska. It sure looked like a swell place. I'd like to go through it someday. Right quick after that, we arrived in Big Town. Omaha is quite a surprise. I actually think the downtown district is bigger than the loop and just as lively. There's everything you could ask for and plenty of it. Rattling streetcars, flying taxi cabs, buses, bars, a hundred hotels and each one with a dance orchestra, and good-sized department stores. Theaters, a few skyscrapers, Liggett's, Walgreens, Craig's, and all the rest. I think it's a nice town. Not at all corn seedy. I checked up on the plane schedules as soon as I got here. The United Airlines has planes leaving Chicago at 6.30 and 8.50 in the evening, and it's a three-hour trip. Going back at 4.30, 5.30, and 8.15. The times are swell, and the round-trip airfare are cheaper than the train. Only catches old priorities. I don't know how it would be in Chicago. You'll have to check on that end. If you could get out here, we'd find a way to get you back, okay? I reckon we can dig up the money, okay, too. You figure out how and when you can get here, and we'll figure out a plan from there. If there's a way, we'll find it. How's everything running at the homestead? No spontaneous combustion, I hope? Gee, you look swell today. Hey, how about some prints off the picture from Florida, and how about those from Wonder Lake? One of these days, I'll have four or five drinks of courage and go have me picture took. Then, if the proofs look human, I'll order several dozen. I haven't had a picture of me and my gold trimmings. You think I'll glitter? There's some saying about gold and glitter, but I can't remember what it was, so I won't say it. Needless to say, it's raining, but I don't care. I had to pack 20 bucks to get a raincoat, so I hope it rains for 30 days and 30 nights. So there. To hell with writing, I'm going to call you. Gee, you sound swell. Say, about this drinking business, I have a confession to make. I had two chocolate sodas yesterday and a glass of cognac. The sodas tasted better. I guess I'm just a cream puff. I'll do almost anything to make you happy, but I can't give up my chocolate sodas. I hear the climate in Tokyo is unbearable. It's so hot there. I wish I was there with my little blowtorch. I'm beginning to have a feeling the end is near. Gee, what a day that will be. It's such a happy thought. I think I'll sign off with it. Love and kisses, Ray.